Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Casil. I just wanted to give you a little preview and go over some of the details for your virtual lab that you're doing today. So this is the Measuring Motion Lab, and it is what we fondly call a gizmo. Uh, some of you will have done these in other science classes before. Basically, it's a simulated lab experience. So this is really useful for us right now during remote learning. When you get set up in the gizmo, it's going to look like this. It's going to be this animated experiment in which you're observing animals moving, and you're able to record video footage of them in order to determine how fast they're moving. So we're going to be simulating their motion and measuring distance, time, and speed. So here's the steps to get yourself started as we go through things here. So first, you need to log into your Gizmo account using your student username and your password. If you don't have one, which an awful lot of you will not at this point, you need to join our class according to these directions. So I'm going to go ahead and open this link and show you where it takes you. It takes you to a page here in Canvas and you're going to join our Gizmo class. Depending on what class period you're in, you'll see there's a different code. When you go in, you'll choose I need to create an Explore Learning account. Register now to enroll. Please use your same student username and password that you do to log on to your Chromebook. That way your accounts always are the same for your work. You use your work computer for work, your work login for work. This is your, your credentials for uh, something you need to do your work. So you'll see it says, I need to create an Explore Learning account. Register now. That's the one that you want to click in order to be able to go there. So um, once you've done that, um, that follow the directions on the screen, you'll be able to go back to the assignment in Canvas. And now when you log into the gizmo, you'll be able to actually access it fully. If you see a five minute timer, you are not signed in. Don't email me with a question saying, oh no, no, I logged in, but it still gave me a five minute timer. No, it didn't. You're not logged in. Try it again. All right. The gizmo looks like this. And see, perfect example. I need to log in. So here's what the gizmo looks like. It's a simulation. There's these adorable wild animals that are running around places and apparently pretty rad blue Land Rovers. So you've got a couple different things that you need to do. Uh, if you just look on this screen, first there's not a lot of information. But if you go back to your lab, this is where you will open um, and you'll be able to open your lab instructions. So it says load 3.5 measuring motion lab gizmo in a new window. So Cami is a tool that we're going to use a lot during this remote time. If we were in class, I would probably give you this lab on paper and we would do it together or we'd go through part of it together in class and you would do just a small part of it individually. This time you need to do more of it on your own. So Cami is a tool that lets you annotate a document like this. Today you're going to probably use this text box tool more than anything else. I'm going to make my text big. Um, my favorite color is green. It's kind of a disappointing green though, so uh, I don't have a lot of choices. Uh, you know, okay, I'm going to go with this. Uh, you know, purple just seems so much more blam compared to that. I don't even want that ugly green on there, so there we go. Yes, um, please give me this purple. So, um, what you're going to do is instead of having a Google Doc that you're going to type in, or a piece of paper that you're writing on, you're going to annotate right on this document right here. So see where it says T for text box, you'll select that tool. And then when you go to answer the questions, you can click where you want to type, just like if you were filling in the blanks. How would you measure the speed of the animal? I would measure distance and time. And then do distance divided by time to calculate speed. There you go. I just answered the first question, right? So that's how you can use Kami to complete this lab. All of the instructions for what to do in the simulation are here. 
So you have a fair bit of reading to do to kind of work your way through this information. It'll tell you when to click the record button, when to press stop. It'll tell you which buttons to push when. So this is how you'll figure out what you need to do as you go through the lab, right? So it's really pretty adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and record. Oh my gosh, did you see that awesome giraffe I just caught? And a really exuberant cat. So I'm going to click stop. I've just recorded something on my gizmo over here. There's a little playback button. That's what will allow me to replay what I just recorded. There's some information that's important. It says the distance between trees is five meters. Down below, it tells me what the time is, the current time compared to the total time. If I click these single these um, these arrows here, you'll see it moves one second forward or backwards. So using that information and the knowledge that, that the distance between the trees is five meters, you'll need to answer the questions that are in the lab. Hopefully that helps everybody get started. Um, please let me know if you've got questions and otherwise, enjoy watching those adorable animals run by there's some pretty fast uh human beings that lumber their way through as well so see you all soon